guys I'm back with a quick haul video um, I don't even really have a lot to show you but the reason I want to share this video is for a couple reasons number one is kind of a walk down memory lane because I got some super like nostalgic old-school products um, number two is because I want to share the beauty supply store with you because I love shopping black I like to purchase majority of my hair and skincare products from black owned brands but when I want to purchase a brand that's not black owned I make sure I purchase it from a black owned store or website so at least the dollars are still circulated within our community and that's what I did today so for those of you in the GTA greater Toronto area you may want to check out Kairoshi beauty supply store um, I used to visit their brick and mortar but they are online now they have an online website and during this you know quarantine time they are offering delivery as well as I believe curbside pickup so I will link them below if you want to check them out for yourself not sponsored first product I got was um, Hicks edges this is the hicks total transformations edges um edge control this is a super old school product to me you guys i remember ebony knots do you guys remember ebony knots she was half of mahogany knots they had a youtube channel together it was made up of mahogany curls and ebony knots oh you guys sometimes i miss the old school youtubers but anyways ebony knots used to swear by this i'm pretty sure it was her that i remember always talking about it so I had never picked it up. I kind of shied away from it because Hicks Edges is kind of expensive um, in terms of edge control, you know, how edge controls are priced. But it is in a pretty large jar. This is a four ounce and normally edge controls are in like, what, a two ounce, one ounce even sometimes. So I figured why not? I was feeling nostalgic. I picked this up and I don't know if you guys have noticed from my recent vlogs, but I have like one or two extra edges, you know, like the edges are kind of coming true again. Yeah, it looks empty because it's clear. It's completely clear. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like hair product. And um, it does that thing, you know, that, that jiggly thing. <laughs> Another old school product. So this is the ORS hair restore hair mayonnaise I used to use hair mayonnaise back in the day religiously but it was from a brand called Africa's best and I swore by their hair mayonnaise it just my hair loved it and I don't know why I stopped using it um Kairoshi didn't have the Africa's best brand on their site so I decided to try the ORS brand hopefully my hair likes it just as much but it looks the same as the Africa's best brand like it's even got those little specks in it smells different though but I'm really excited to try it because I do remember how much my hair loved hair mayonnaise so hopefully this um, works well for me as well and this is a deep conditioner by the way <sighs> another old school product you guys and this product just reminds me of again the old YouTube what's natural hair video routine you know styling video wash day video could you watch without seeing this product surface at some point the Cantu leave-in conditioner repair cream this was like everybody's go-to I tried it when I first went natural and I hated it <laughs> like it did not work for my hair at all I have no idea why I purchased this thing but like I said I was just in a nostalgic mood and I just felt like revisiting old you know like old school products it smells like how I remember um, you know, even the packaging hasn't really changed much. So let's see if my hair likes it now. You know, my hair has changed over the years. I don't know if they've changed their formulation or not, but, um, I do need a leave-in. I'm completely out of leave-in. My hair is freshly washed underneath this wig. This is the Big Chop wig in 1B33, by the way, available from TonyDaily.com. Felt like switching up my look a little bit today, but my hair is freshly washed underneath and I need to moisturize her. So... This one I'm gonna use today. Oh, I got some hair, you guys. I got one pack of hair. This is um, by Spetra. This brand, S-P-E-T-R-A. I love this um, brand for pre-stretched braiding hair because it's not super slippery. Like, it's got some texture to it. Um, so I got this in the little ombre color. This is in TP271B. And I just got one pack because I'm not gonna do like single braids or anything. I just kind of wanted to put a couple cornrows in my hair just a quick style to rock for a week or two the last thing I got pretty boring but I don't know am I the only one who can't go into a beauty supply store without picking up a lip gloss um, yeah apparently I can't do it online either 
This one is by NK Makeup. It's their lip gel with vitamin E and argan oil. And I like to keep these around, like one in my car, one in my purse, one in each of my like jacket pockets, just so I don't get caught slipping ashy out in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know when Mr. Right or Mrs. Right could be right around the corner. But yeah, it's just your typical beauty supply store lip gloss. That's it, you guys. Let me know what old school product is still in your rotation that you just can't do without. Maybe I'll have to try it too. I'll keep you guys posted about how I feel about these. Definitely check out Kairoshi Beauty Supply Store if you are in the GTA. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.